everyone i'm gonna share with you how to make another pouch and um this is by request that I, I don't know you can use so for anything you want i have a zero paper this is how i share with people how to make the circle so um let me just first share with you the, uh, the zipper i have here that i got it 100 of them with all different colors in here and um so it's very cheap super cheap and this is um what size is this? This size is uh, 9 inches. I am going to pick the color of red. Oh, whatever color you want. I think I'm going to use something that to show to show the color more. Uh, you know, I'm funky. So I'm using green. You can use red too if you want to. But I'm using green so I can sh show you more. All right. So this is nine inches, but I only use from here to here. That's the end to end, and end to end is seven inch and half. Okay, seven inch and half, and from this end to this end. So to make seven inch and half circle, you gotta fold this paper in half. Seven and half divide by two, so it's three inch and three quarter of an inch. So you do that. You fold it again. This is the two fold and the big fold is here. So from here, you're going to go around this area and you're going to mark three in and three quarter of an inch. So whatever, if you want to make an eight inch circle, then you have to go four and four. Like fold it and then you're going to go around with four. You're going to divide by two like that. I have two of this, okay? So don't worry about it. I cut the paper and then I cut the fabric. Don't worry. I didn't do that. Uh, when, one time I went to Walmart and I saw this scissor. It's super cheap. It's on sale. I buy one, get one half off. So I got two. So one I do for the now paper. I have the circle. So you're going to place on the fabric and you're going to cut two linings and two men. So that four together. So two and two. So here I cut out two already. So two for the front, I use the deer, and two for the lining right here. So the lining to leave it like that, but the men, you go on to fold it in half, and you go on to iron it. Fold in half and iron it. So everyone, the zipper is this, and I'm gonna start from the end first to the start to the end right here. So I'm placing the pull up, and I place this on here. So you see the end and the end. Okay, and now you, for the people who's been doing that for years, and you don't mind to use the pen, then you go on to pin this all the way. You know, you don't go too close to it. You're going to go a little bit off the zipper right here because when you pull the zipper, you don't want to pull on the fabric. So make it go out like this a little bit more like that. Okay. And then on this side, you're going to place another one this way like that. And then you go into pin this area. After that, you can sew. But I'm going to show this for the beginner. So I'm going to show you using the bait instead. You use single thread. You don't need to use bolt. I mean um, double. So you go on a little bit out from the zipper like that. Okay. So now I'm going to go like this. Bait instead. Bait instead is like this. It's like a big spade. For temporary, instead of you pin, it's hard for the beginner. Use this, okay? Use this to sew it in for temporary. And when you're done, after you sew, you can take it out. Very easy. 
so like this you're going to go all the way to the end this way you don't need to use the pin and it's easy you don't need to hold on to it you don't need to take it out and then move oh that's too much so do this and they do the same thing to the other side This way your sewing is going to be so perfect. Okay. And you're going to sew all the way and this side you're going to sew all the way You are good with this bait instead. Go ahead and take that out. Like this. Isn't that easy? Do the same thing to this side. Take it out. You are done. You don't need it. Like that. Okay. So now I'm going to cut the extra away. this all right here i have the uh, fabric that i cut in here that two and a half inches by six inches i fold it in half and then fold it again like this and then fold one more time like this you go and sew the top line and the bottom line and after i sew on this here i'm gonna go to this main side remember the zipper here now safe i'm gonna go right move to the middle Okay, so easy. So I'm gonna fold it in half. After I sew, and I fold it this way. So it's all up to you. You wanna place it right here, you can, but I'm gonna place it over here. Something different. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. I'm just showing you how to do it. You can place here if you like on the zipper, but I don't want it too, too thick, so I want it to be there. So now you're going to sew that in. Everyone, after I sew on the loop in there, I'm going to bring back the two circle. This is the two that we cut earlier. So two at the same time, you're going to place it in here. So make sure everything meet up. When I pin around, I, I clip around in the middle. I like to pin this like that. So it's more stable for me. Go ahead and... Go all around the circle. A quarter of an inch, you're gonna sew all around the circle.
And after you're done, go and top stitch all around, and you're all good to go. Finish everyone. If this person asked, you have to do that and to show them. And here the CD, you can put it in here and carry it with you or leave it in the car so you know it's in here and then you hang up or you can put anywhere you want so so cute and easy to make too stay safe and take care everyone thank you so much for watching continue to support my channel like share and subscribe if you want to support my channel feel free to watch my playlist uh, we get paid by the ad so if you watch the ad that would be awesome too some of you has been running the playlist um, overnight that's been helping a lot too stay safe everyone love you all